Mike here with Shields Outdoors, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about mobile hunting. We're gonna do a what's in your pack and what's on your pack. So I love mobile hunting because it's very challenging. It's got lots of opportunities. You can go to different places that, you know, explore and never really been to, but you have a, quite the gear list. So the goal is to be as lightweight and as mobile as possible because you don't know where you're gonna be hunting at that specific time. So I'm gonna go through my pack here. I'll tell you what I have on me and then what I'm gonna have in my pack. So there's two different types of setups for mobile hunting that are most popular. So the first one is gonna be your hang on tree stand and I'm gonna go through that right now. So basically I have this hang on tree stand and a set of climbing stick, sticks strapped onto the back of my pack. So what I'll do is I use the ropes that come with the sticks and I will strap them to the hang on tree stand and then from the hang on tree stand, I'll strap them to my pack. So this pack, I have a Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28, and I really like this pack for mobile hunting because it's got three different areas of pockets that I can put different pieces of equipment based on when I'm gonna use that. And uh, you'll be able to fit the strap of the hang on stand in between the external frame of this pack so it can really lock on tight and it'll really help you evenly distribute that weight. Since I started this video, having the hang on stand and the sticks onto my pack, I'm gonna talk about having the saddle set up on the back. So the sticks you're gonna use in both situations, whether it's the hang on stand or the saddle. But the only other addition you've got here is you need a saddle platform with your saddle. This is gonna be what is put on the tree and what you're gonna be standing on with your feet when you're hanging out there up on the tree. It's gonna allow you to move around to be mobile and 360 degrees in that tree. So basically what I like to do is I like to take the platform first and I like to put it on the back and I like to use what goes the rope that goes around the tree and I like to wrap it around the frame. You can either put it all the way around the internal part of the frame or you can put it through in between the frame and the pack portion of it. And then what I'll do is I'll take the sticks and I'll set the sticks right on there too and I'll utilize the rope, wrap it around just like I did the saddle platform and then you're gonna be compact, good to go. Now that I have this set up on the pack, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the hang on setup and also the tree saddle setup, which are the two main types of mobile hunting. So for this one, I've got the XOP Vanish Evolution stand, and then I've got a set of XOP two-step climbing sticks. So what you really wanna think about in this setup is you wanna be as lightweight and as packable as possible. So XOP does make some that will latch everything together. I don't have that in this setup right now, but you can see that these sticks all lock together really well. Basically what you'll do is you'll just turn this and then you'll be able to disassemble the sticks. But when they're together, you know, you can wrap the, all of the ropes around it and you can tie it around your tree stand right there. And then you can just lock it right onto the pack. So just simple and effective. And then the next setup we've got is a tree saddle. So tree saddle is becoming increasingly popular because you can see that it is extremely lightweight, packable, portable. So depending on how far I'm gonna go into the woods, I'm either gonna just wear this thing out to my stand or I'm gonna pack it in. So, and it's easily packable, just really depends on kind of your preference. So, but with both of these setups, one thing that is super important is you gotta make sure to have yourself a lineman's rope. So then you're always connected to the tree, you're always safe. So when you're putting up these sticks, you put up your first stick, you put that lineman's rope around you, and then you're always connected to the tree. And then you just keep bringing it up and bringing it up. And then you're either putting your, your stand up or you're cinching your saddle platform down. So safety is the number one key when you're out there because when you're doing this mobile hunting setup, you're usually trekking in quite a distance, getting into uncharted territory, often going by yourself. 
so then you want to make sure that safety is your number one priority. So, you know, talking about getting into different areas, one of my favorite tools to use is Onyx mapping. So Onyx, basically you can get a layout of the land, you can find where boundaries are, places where you can be, places where you can't be, places where you want to check out like a pinch point or a saddle or things like that. And one tip I have for you with the Onyx mapping too is to do this beforehand and save your maps uh, so you can view them when you are not in a place where you have cell phone accessibility. So if you're not having service, you can still have your maps, you can still know where you're going, and you're gonna still have that uh, GPS capabilities with your phone so you know where you're going at all times. Now that we've talked about the tree stand lock-on setup, and then we've talked about the saddle setup, we're gonna get into what's on my pack and what's on my body. So first, the first thing I have here is I've got, a, I've got a tree harness on. So the harness, this one is gonna be for your tree stand setup. So you have your tree stand, you have your harness. If you are using a saddle, you don't need this uh, safety harness because you're gonna have your lineman belt and then you're gonna have your other harness that's gonna go around the tree. So no need for this, another benefit of that saddle. Next, we've got binoculars. I like to use just a pair of, uh, you know, straps to go around. If you're using one of these harnesses, they usually have straps with it. But if you're just doing the saddle game, then you're gonna want a bino harness. Just so you can have them with all the time. You know, some people like to pack them, you can put them in, but I like to just have them there accessible at all times. So now we can move into what's actually in the pack. So. Like I said before, we've got a Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28, and what I really like about this and what I can show now is you've got that external frame, which is really great at distributing the weight. And then what you can do too is you can strap your stand in between here. So like I put the top of the stand, I actually strapped it up here. So it's gonna sit and it's gonna keep that weight up high and it's not gonna drag down on you. And then you can run that bottom strap right around. And then, um, you know, you got that frame so it keeps you stable. And it's just, a, it's just really an all around great pack. And it has a surprising amount of things you can fit in there uh, based on the room, which I'm gonna go through right now. So top pack, this is gonna be a lot of my items I'm gonna be using quickly. So I'm gonna be using a lot. So first one, I've got range finder. So range finder is a must for all you bow hunters. So this one, I've got a Vortex Ranger. You know, pick your poison on this, but um, you know, Vortex really makes a great rangefinder. So next thing I've got in my pack, I've got a headlamp. This is something I always wanna be reaching for because often when you're mobile hunting, you're sitting until dark, you're either gonna be setting up right away in the morning and it's gonna be dark, or you're gonna be tearing down at night. You wanna always know where that headlamp is at. And another one I have up here is a bow hanger. Love having a bow hanger with, cause you know, you, you get your bow up in the tree and you don't wanna hang onto it that whole day. You know, you just screw it right into the tree and you're good to go. So a couple of other items I have that I just wanna know where they're at is um, I've got a wind detector. So it's nice to always know where that wind's at. If the wind's shifting, you know, you're puffing it here. If the wind's gonna shift, I've got a mobile setup so I can move somewhere else. I can go to a different area. And then I've got my multi-tool up here. It's always great to have a multi-tool just in case. You never know when you're gonna need a knife, you're gonna need to tighten a bolt or something like that because there's nothing worse than getting two miles back into a mobile setup and realizing you've got a loose bolt and you can't get back up, you can't get into the stand. So a couple of, one last thing I have up in my top that's always accessible is I've got some band-aids and some wipes because you never know when you get a cut or something like that. So I wanna always know where that is at. So this is where I usually put my lineman's belt. So this is when I'm gonna be going around the tree. I'm having that there, it's accessible. It's like the first thing that I have when I open this main pouch because I'm gonna be setting up my sticks. I'm gonna to wanna to know where that's at right away. So I also like to put some rope in here because you never know when you're gonna need some rope. It's always great to have 
rope with, whether you're gonna be pulling up your bowl, whether you're gonna be tying something, you have it. Um, what I like to do is I like to get these ones that'll tie together so I can have extra rope if I need it, but I don't, if I don't need all of it, I don't have to use it all. So another thing I have in here is a thermosel. So early season when the bugs are out, this thing is absolutely worth its weight in gold because you don't want to get two miles back in there and then get yourself all set up and be swatting around at the bugs all the time. You want to be lightweight, mobile, ready for everything, good to go. Thermosel, great thing to have. And then lastly, I've got a knife in here. So when you're back into these mobile setups, you need to have everything. You need to be ready for any situation. So if you shoot a deer, you don't want to walk two miles back to your truck to go grab a knife. So make sure you got your knife in there. And now I have two last items for you besides your bow, which you obviously need, and your release. Don't forget those. But I do have two last items. So the first item is water bottle. So I like to bring just a Yeti or, you know, pick your preference on the type of water bottle. But I like these because they keep everything cool and you can just store it in this side pouch so then it's accessible, it's ready to go whenever you need some water. But you're walking in a ways, you're carrying quite a bit of stuff, make sure to stay hydrated. And last but not least, this is a secret tip from my girl dad life, and that is bring some baby wipes. So. Baby wipes are awesome because you never know when you have to go or when you have that trophy down there and you want to take some great trophy photos, it's great to wipe off everything, get it nice and clean, and then just get some great photos out there. You know, and make sure when you're getting those great photos, share them with Shields Outdoors. We love to feature our people on Trophy Tuesday or any type of posts. You have a great story, you have a great photo, we'd love to see it. So thank you for watching this. Hopefully you found it beneficial. If you need any of this equipment out here, make sure to head to your local Shields store or visit us online at shields.com. And make sure to follow us at Shields Outdoors. We've got a lot of content like this on our YouTube page, on our social media pages, and we've got a lot of great stuff coming up for you. Best of luck this season.